Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Micro Now. Gas prices are soaring to all-time record highs, and drivers are feeling the pain at the pump. The national average for a gallon of gas in the United States skyrocketed to $4.17 this week and continues to rise. So what's causing the rapid rise in gas prices? Well, I hate to say it, but you can chalk it up to supply and demand. The crippling economic sanctions put on Russia by the United States and the European Union in response to Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine have had a devastating effect on the Russian oil market. As nations turn their back on Russian exports, Russia has become a pariah in the open global economy. This has made it more difficult for Russia to sell its oil exports. Because Russia is one of the biggest energy suppliers in the world, it has a significant influence on the total industry output in the world's oil market. With Russian oil unavailable, the world's supply of crude oil has dramatically decreased, causing crude oil prices to rise significantly. In fact, the price of crude oil has risen sharply since 2020, when crude oil was at an average price of $39 a barrel, its lowest price since 2003. This week alone, the price of Brent crude, the international standard, exploded to $139 before settling at $123 a barrel, up 4.3% from the previous week. This in turn has caused the price of oil in competing markets to surge as well. The price of US oil surged this week to $120 before settling at $119 a barrel. That's a one-week inflation rate of 3.2%. Oil is becoming vastly more expensive, no matter where it comes from. Seeing as crude oil is a vital resource in the production of gasoline, fuel companies are passing the higher costs of production onto consumers by raising prices at the pump. In essence, drivers are feeling the burden of cost push inflation when they fill up their tanks. As the economy continues to open up from COVID restrictions, the consumption of gasoline is climbing rapidly. With mandates lifted, people are returning to work, traveling on vacation, and going out more. Naturally, Work commutes and car travel require the consumption of gasoline. With more cars on the road and drivers traveling more every day, the demand for gasoline is rising, putting pressure on the gasoline market and causing demand pull inflation at the pump. Adding to the problem is the push to correct lags in the supply chain. COVID supply chain issues have disrupted economic recovery and inconvenienced markets everywhere. As the economy tries to ship goods over land and sea by truck, train, and boat, Gasoline usage continues to climb, causing inflation of gas prices. So what's next? Don't expect gas prices to fall anytime soon. Predictions forecast that the average cost of a gallon of gas will peak at $4.25 as the summer travel season begins in May. Even as prices begin to decline in the fall, the average is expected to remain over $4 until at least November. Overall, the average price for a gallon of gas for 2022 is expected to remain at $4. The escalating crisis in Ukraine doesn't bode well for gasoline prices. Sanctions are likely to remain in place until Vladimir Putin withdraws his forces and some sort of order is restored in Europe. Until then, the world oil market will continue to struggle to provide an adequate supply to meet worldwide demand, meaning that crude oil prices will remain high. This, of course, will keep prices inflated at the pump and drivers will struggle to fill their tanks. Adding to the problem is the approaching summer travel season. Typically, there's a rise in gas prices as the summer approaches. Vacation travel surges and demand is ramped up, causing gas prices to rise. Higher gas prices are likely to increase production costs for derived markets, causing inflation across the economy. Any industry that relies on the use of crude oil or gasoline to either produce its goods or ship its goods to various locations will bear the brunt of inflated gas prices. These industries will pass the burden of high production costs onto consumers in the form of cost push inflation. As a result, inflationary problems will likely grow worse for consumers in the months ahead. 